Blake, for today's video, we may need the subtitles turned on. Okay. What, another language? No, no, no. Well, kind of. We're going to be doing a, a Kevin Bridges story today. Bridges. The last time we saw Kevin Bridges, he was buying a horse in, like, Romania or somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I remember this guy now. Um, hopefully he's learnt a little bit since last time. <laughs> Well, this is Kevin Bridges and the suitcase full of bananas. So no. No, no then, is the answer. No, maybe you thought he was renting them. We'll find out. I once found a suitcase and took it to the police station. When they opened it, it contained 34 bunches of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> David, uh, where did you find the suitcase? At a train station. Um, well, there are lots of... Do you want a specific train station? Well, no, I'm just sort of thinking that you, you're in a train station, you see a suitcase, you think, I must take that to the police. <laughs> that's, was, uh, that's potentially a, a bad approach. No, I was just lying, and I'd say to a couple of people, is that your suitcase? And it was in the climate of fear, and I started to think, well, maybe I should be a good citizen. So I took the suitcase over, and I headed straight to a traffic British transport police guy and told them what had happened. So you, mo you moved the suitcase you thought might be a bomb. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It wasn't so much I thought it was a bomb, I just thought maybe somebody had left a suitcase. Wait, well, that wouldn't be a response to the climate of fear, though. That would have been a response oh, to the climate I, of fear. I kind of panicked, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> Who opened the suitcase to divulge well, all those bananas? I came in and the British transport police guy took it into his office and then they scanned it with some, whatever they scanned it with, some those banana things. detecting things. <laughs> like a waitress! <laughs> <laughs> Part of this is why would anybody put 34 <laughs> bunches of bananas into a suitcase? That's exactly what the chief tether inspector said. He was baffled. That's why. <laughs> Did they ever find this guy? Was, I never kept you know. up to date. I don't have a clue. I just left it. You haven't kept I, in touch? No. You... Well, <laughs> he's here tonight. <laughs> I'm the king of the swingers. <laughs> What I doubt here is that, is that if you've taken a piece of unattended luggage to the police, I don't think they're going to then immediately open it. Oh, well, it was no longer unattended when I got to the police. No, I but you're, you're, saying, <laughs> you're saying... But that's not going to reassure them, because you're saying, I've no idea whether or not this has got a bomb in it. So I never use those words. You don't, you don't use the word bomb in this situation. That just... Do you do a mime? <laughs> I'm, I'm worried this might be... What? <laughs> Right, we need a decision. Truth or lie? Oh, <laughs> short story. What are you going to go with? Oh, man, this is tough. Uh, I will say... True. Okay. Just just a hunch? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> there's, not, there's not much of the story, but I'm going to say a lie for that one because cool. I want it to be a lie because I'm going to be upset if it's true and I don't get closure from the story. Yeah, well, that's actually a good call. Damn it, I'm going to change my answer. But no, I'm going to... I want us, one of us to be right, so... Let's find out. It's all a lie. Well, it's... Mm. You think it's a lie? I do, really. Yeah, I think it's a lie. Well, we'll say it's a lie. You're going to say it's a lie. OK, uh, <laughs> Kevin, were you telling the truth? Eh, uh, it's a lie. <laughs> 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 not very surprising there. There's not that many Kevin stories out there, I don't think. I want, I want to see more of him, because I think he's a very, very funny guy. But there's not yeah. that many I can find. Well, guys, if you know the answer to that question, please let us know in the comments below. And as always, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. And if you want to see some more Would I Lie To You reactions, hit on that playlist just up there for more. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Bye, guys.